Before we start this video, a large thank you to Parav Bali, Noah Fields, Michael Coffey, Eric L. Roman, and Luxy. I really appreciate your support on Patreon, guys. It means the world to me. And thank you, Azam, for editing your pledge to $25 a month. Oh, and thank you, Luxy, for choosing to support my channel for a year. I greatly appreciate that. You guys are awesome, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello guys, and in this video we're going to set up our two-handing system, or at least the foundation for it. So by the end of this video, you will be able to two-hand a weapon and unto-hand it. So let's jump into our input handler. And right away, we're just going to go up to the top here and on enable, uh, I'm going to set up a few things. I'm also going to add a couple bulls up here. So I'm going to say public bull Y input. Again, I'm going to breeze through this because you guys definitely know this by now. So we're going to add input for a Y. Then down here, I'm going to add a flag called the two hand flag. So public bull two hand flag, just like that. Excellent. So down here on enable, we're going to say input actions dot player actions uh, dot Y uh, dot performs plus equals I equals greater than um, Y input. So basically pressing Y will enable the Y input bull. Okay, cool. Now we're going to set up our, uh, just in case actually if you want to see it, here is my Y input. So it's a button, a North gamepad, and it's the Y button on the keyboard, and the action type is a button. So uh, down here, private void, we're gonna say handle two hand input or handle Y input, whichever you prefer, whatever you want to call it, as long as you know your naming conventions. Open up some acrylic bracers, and we're going to start off by saying, if Y input, two hand flag is equal to the opposite of what two hand flag currently is. So if two hand flag is on, it's off. If it's off, then we're gonna turn it on. And then we're gonna say, if two hand flag, open it up here, we're gonna make slash, we're gonna say enable two handing weapon or just enable two handing. So, and then we're gonna make an else. So that means if two hand flag is off, we're gonna say disable two handing. Very straightforward. Okay. Up here, we're also gonna say Y input equals false. That way it's only going off once per frame. And then over here on the weapon slot manager, where it says load weapons on slot, we're gonna go down here uh, where it says, if it's not the left weapon, it's the right weapon. We're gonna say if input handler, and you're gonna see we're gonna to need to call upon our input handler. So let's put that right here. Input handler, input handler. And on awake, we're gonna say, Input handler equals get component in parent because this sits below the game object that the input handler is on. Okay, wonderful. Now we can finish up our functionality down here. So we're gonna say if input handler dot two hand flag, then we're gonna do some logic. Else it must be one handed or loading your weapon on one hand. I have right here. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Let's close that. So you can actually copy and paste all of this now and put it in the one hand section for now. We're going to take some of that in a bit. Let me read through this. Yep. Okay. looks good. So essentially all we're doing here now is uh, we're going to move our left hand weapon to another slot on our back or on our side or on our hip or we can stay, disable it completely, which we will handle in the next video when we do the attacks. But we're going to keep that, uh, that line coded there so we know how to do it or we know what we have to do rather. Uh, and then we're going to say animator dot crossfade weapon item dot two hand animation. And it looks like we don't have a two hand idle animation. So let's go to our weapon item script and under idle animations, let's make a public string and we're going to call this th underscore idle. So it means two hand idle. And then back here on our weapon slot manager, we're going to say weapon item dot two handed idle uh, comma 0.2 F for the crossfade. So this will make us hold our current right-handed weapon in our two hands. Okay, cool. So I have some animations here, as you can see. I have uh, one for a two-handed idol uh, for a sword, which I've already added to my project. And I'm gonna make a new layer now. We're gonna call this both arms. It's gonna sit right above the override, it's important. We're gonna crank the weight to one and we're gonna make a new mask. So I'm just gonna actually duplicate the right arm mask and then I'm going to call it both arms. And all I'm going to do is open up here and then enable the other arm like so. Go to the both arms and add that to the mask. Excellent, we're gonna make an empty uh, like in every other layer. See how it's just left arm empty. That way we can reset the state. So let's just call this both arms empty. Very straightforward. 
And now I'm going to add in my two-handed idle animation, which I have called two-hand idle sword. And I'm actually going to rename that, I think, to uh, two-hand idle 01, uh, left arm idle 01. Yeah, to stick with the naming conventions here, I think I will call that two-hand idle, or th idle 01. I'm going a bit fast for this video, guys. Please let me know if you like it. I'm going to try to breeze through this a bit. Um, quicker so that we can keep the video time down a little bit. Okay, so in my weapons now, I'm like Butcher Sword and Sword, I'm just going to say TH underscore idle 01 in the two-handed idle slot um, and do the same thing here on the sword. Okay, excellent. Cool. All right, so back in our input handler, uh, we got to call that on tick input. So let's say handle two-handed input. There we go. Let's save that. Okay. Now we're gonna need our weapon slot manager, and we're gonna call that on awake. That's gonna be get component in children as the weapon slot manager again sits below the input handler on a game object. Uh, the reason why we're calling this is because we have to actually reload our weapons when we two hand our, our new weapon. So let's do that, and we're gonna go down here and where it says enable to in it, we're gonna say weapon slot manager dot uh, load weapon on slot, and we're gonna say uh, player inventory dot right uh, right weapon false. Now I'm setting it up so you can only two-hand your right weapon. If you guys want me to set it up so you can two-hand either the right or left-handed weapon, let me know, because I can do that with relative ease. But I think most people can figure it out on their own. If not, I can make a video then as well. Anyway, so down here where it says else, we're gonna copy and paste it, but we're also going to um, copy and paste it and say the left weapon and true, because after we two-hand our weapon, we're actually disabling our left weapon, um, or making the model invisible at any rate. So let's go over here to load weapon on slot. We're gonna copy these three lines of code here and delete them and put them outside of this if statement, because this has to happen regardless if we're two-handing or not. Uh, this looks good, yep, cool. Uh, we should also reset our animation um, on both hands when we're not two-handing, so let's just say, Animator dot crossfade and we're gonna play both arms empty. So just in case you are doing a two-handed idle animation, we're gonna say 0.2f. We're gonna make sure that if you are you're you're changing that to the empty state on both hands. And actually we can put that uh, we can put that right. We can put it in the if statement. No, there's yeah, let's put it in the if statement. Actually, there's not much point to put it in this if statement. No no no, we're gonna put it up top because it's gonna be called Either way, so let's just put it right here. Okay, excellent. And that looks nice. Cool. Okay, so now we're hopping in game here. If I press the Y button, boom, I two-hand my sword. Press it again, and I unto-hand it. Again, we two-hand it. Again, we don't two-hand it. Excellent. Now this is the platform, uh, what we're going to use for our tuning system. And the next video will make it so if you're holding a weapon in your left hand, it will go to your back or your side. And we'll also make it so we can actually have some two-handed attacks if you're two-handing your weapon. So if you guys like this video, please, as usual, drop a like. It really helps my series get around. Thank you guys for all the constant support. And if you're feeling super generous, leave a comment. That helps you even more. And if you're feeling like a complete champion, check out my Patreon below. All support is appreciated. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video, which should be quite a bit longer because we have a lot more to cover. Peace.